Yes, 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 yes. Welcome to State of Play. I mean, for it's been a while since I came with documents. Um, but when you're dealing with a case like this, that you have to. You a have case, to a case that changes faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been changing the face. It's mm -hmm. been changing Cecilia or Abena. Which one would you go for? Well, Abena has been trending lately. Uh, I, I missed the call, so why not? Abena has been trending. Yeah. Uh, Abena. So we'll have, I, I, then I missed the memo. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you are late to... You know, the, the problem I have nowadays is that because the thing is X, sometimes I forget that it's Twitter. I'm looking for Twitter. I can't find Twitter. <laughs> One of those things. But look, um, you're right. A lot of things are changing. And some people have termed the AG's advice as what amended charges or amended charge sheet. I don't know what you, what oh, you so say what about I call it. amended charge sheet. Charge sheet. But, but it has the makings of saying, mm. um, because the details in the a AG's advice is not only different from the police's one, it is so materially distinct, diametrically opposed to each other in terms of facts. The facts are different, There's con there are contradictions, there are, it raises questions. So, and you wonder, at what point and remember that the AG is not an investigating agency or a public institution that does investigations. The Attorney General's office relies on other state agencies to investigate the matter. Yeah. Okay. So they rely on the police. They rely on NIB. They rely on IOCO. They will... I mean, other maybe maybe the GRA, the Customs Division, etc., to do the investigations. It is when the investigations are done that the AG now, having seen the facts, decide what to do with them, right? But in the case of the police, the police are empowered in some cases to also prosecute the matter, right? So when you now see the AG, which is not supposed to be an investigative body, adducing facts that are not only different from the police's facts, which is the, the police, the primary agency for investigations in this country. They're not only different from that, but they are, they contradict the police. If it was different, you say, wow, how wow, come the police had this and you had that? But some of the facts in the AG's um, document directly contradict that of the police. You, you know, you're very right, and, but, but this is the point. Okay, so ordinarily you... Um, the AG in his letter, you know, in his advice makes the point that anything that exceeds 500,000 uh, should be referred to his office for advice. Yeah. So if the police is referring an issue to your office for advice, now this is my point, you would expect the AG to reproduce what the police sent him as facts of the matter, true or false. That's, what, that's my point, because the AGs rely on the police's investigation. The police. So when there are discrepancies, between what the AG is basing his advice on and what the police, at least we know what the police presented to the courts. So all things being equal, you expect the police to present same to the AG. Absolutely. Now, when there's a difference, then you begin to ask a few questions. So many questions. Let's, let's go to the questions. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, we learn that the first time the Sicilia Dapa, the Dapa household, let's, let's call it that way, the Dapa household discovered that the money, something was happening in terms of the money's properly being stolen, was on the 6th of October, 2022. Yeah. And this discovery was done by Daniel Osei Kufo. Daniel Osei Kufo is the husband of Sisley Dapa. Yeah. Now, he was built to travel to Achim Oda for in a few days' trip. But somehow, he returned unexpectedly. Okay, we are telling you the story. So we can tell you where the, they, 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 they digress with that of the police. So he returned unexpectedly. He goes into their bedroom. The bedroom door was open. So suspected that something was wrong. In their bedroom, they had a storeroom in their bedroom where the monies were kept. He opened the storeroom door and then discovered that because the storeroom door was, was, was open and discovered that this house help, patients butchery, right? was hiding behind the door. Okay. Then he got alarmed. And then he noticed that a few things were missing. Some of the things that were missing includes suits of his. 
Okay, so shoes that belong to him were missing. He instantly, realizing that this is the place we keep a lot of money, called the police officer who was on duty that day because that, you know, ministers had police protection. Yes. So the police protection detail to um, the Adapa, he called him. And the police officer then arrested the, the young lady, the house help, Boche, Patience Boche, and quote, sent her to the Tesano police station. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so that is, that is the first thing. Now, let's go and talk about how this story is interesting. First of all, the husband recounts that he realized that five different men's suits valued at $500 each and five pieces of kente cloth worth 15000 each, CDs each, had been stolen. First contradiction. The police's charge sheet, which had been amended three times, right? And I have here the, the last amendment of 20th of July. In all the cases, so the suits that were allegedly stolen were six, mm -hmm. not five. Okay. And it was worth $3,000. Yeah. And not, if you put the 500, you know, uh, the $500 each plus five, so, first of all, the number of suits stolen from the police that, that they did the investigation, remember that, the police, they didn't know the AG's office, is six. But the AG's facts in the advice to the police that did the investigation says it's five. The amount is 3,000 here in the police's document, the amount is 2,500 here. So, that's the first thing. Who do you believe is a key question? Well, we'll answer all of these when we are done. But, 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 but here's the part that everybody had been talking about, which is the issue about the money. Let's get to that issue. Let's, Let's get to that issue. Let's get to that issue. Because it says that, look, for instance, um, Cecilia Brandapa, when she was informed, now on the 6th of October, she doesn't show up. You are informed there's a theft. She's in, in Kumase. She's in Kumase. Well, that's the choice she, ha she decides to make. So she shows up on the 10th of October. This, this is four days later. Four days. To find that their bedroom had been ransacked. Now, that's a bit of a strange thing to me because... It is. When, you know, you read the original, part, the first part, when the husband goes there, you don't see anything about the bedroom being ransacked. But then you, you, we, we are introduced to the term ransack, uh, ransacking and, of the bedroom. another question I had when I saw that is, so the husband saw the, saw the theft, mm -hmm. right, allegedly, yeah. four days before. Mm -hmm. He didn't do, he left the room just like that. Just like that. Well, maybe he, he may want to come and see what the he evidence. saw. No okay. problem. Okay. And in a statement to the police on the 4th of July, now, 10th October, 2022, 4th July, 2023, after nine months. Nine months. You ask yourself, what were they doing? Because the AG says there is no evidence of a case being reported at the Tessano Police Station. Facts. So, so what you're actually saying is, is that Abdullah Dapar discovered that her room has been ransacked. Yes. Things had been stolen. She did not file a police report. No. Until, until nine months later. Nine months later. Yes. So why was it so difficult for her to file a police report? Because from all of these things... And you know why that's shocking? Tell me. Because we are told by the husband mm -hmm. that the woman was arrested. In fact, let me and read... And sent to the Testano police station that same day. Let me read verbatim. Let me read verbatim. Let me read verbatim. There is nothing in the docket on the complaint made by Daniel Osekufo or any member of the household at the Tesano police station. Neither is there any information on the arrest of the first accused by the Tesano police, nor any investigation conducted at that stage. There's, however, evidence of an arrest warrant against the first accused. So based on what did they, they issue a, the, a, arrest a, the arrest warrant? That's, I mean, that's when there's no evidence. Based on what? was brought there? A complaint was filed. And so, you see, this is the point that, and, and, and this is, you see this story. On 27 June, first and third accused were arrested in Tamale. That this is eight months later. Eight months, based on what? A, which complaint? Based on an arrest warrant? Were they granted bail that they ran away? But let's get into it. Because, again, the 27 June 2023. Yes. This is days before Four. this that will go and file, file a complaint. Statement. Yes. Okay, so I let's think, continue. You know, so, so you begin to have I mean, it like, what's happening here? Yeah, let's go. Let's go on. Let's continue. It says that, you know, 
She says it took her days to, uh, you know, arrange uh, the things in her room. But let me, let me get to the, the meat. The meat. Yes, it says the personal items included a collection of jewelry. She had kept for about 35 years, totaling $95,000. Various types of kente cloth, Holland, like we'll call it, and GTP cloth, with a total value of about 56000 Dresses valued at about 20000 Various types of handbags, totaling $35,000. So the dress are 20,000 cities. And different types of perfumes valued at $1,400. Now the part I'm waiting for. She also found that she had lost a bag containing about $200,000, another bag containing 300,000 euros, an amount of 300,000 cities, contribution for her mother's funeral, mm -hmm. 50,000 for the house, and a box containing about $800,000 belonging to her deceased brother, which was sent to her together with some regalia for safekeeping following the death of her brother. She did not indicate who the $200,000 and the 300,000 euros belonged to. Be before we ask the questions, I want to add the brother's mm, sure, corroboration. So she said that Pa filed his, uh, gave a police statement on the 4th of July. That same day, that same day, her brother, Henry Jose Kwabana, also filed a police report that same day. He told the police that his younger brother, Nana Akwisi Esan II, Numahene Tuotunfo Osetu II, died in January of 2022. Mm -hmm. Now, his office, the office of the, the brother, who, of course, happened to be a, a, a chief, right, was opened after his demise. And a box containing $800,000 was retrieved from the office. His mother, and this mother then is the mother of Cecilia Dapa as well, mm -hmm. and Henry, the other brother, his mother asked him to send the box of money to his sister, Abena Dapa, for safekeeping. According to him, his mother added some gold regalia belonging to his late brother to the money, and he brought the money and the regalia to his sister in Accra for safekeeping. He was informed by his sister in October 2022 that the money and the regalia, together with the number of items, had been stolen from her home. Bottom line, the brother corroborated this is the past story mm -hmm. that the eight hundred thousand dollars did not belong to her. Yeah, it belonged to their deceased brother. Now, here are the big questions. Um, wasted. Remember that the police that did the actual investigation had filed three charge sheets, well, amended charge sheets, three of them, very well because they mm -hmm. kept amending it. In all the charge sheets that they filed with the courts, they maintain that an amount of money stolen was $1 million. But yes. most importantly, they maintain that it belongs to Cecilia Abdelapa in, in, in all the incarnations of the, of, of the, of the charge sheet they submitted. Yes. Right? And then the question that I ask is, so, the police took a statement from Mrs. Dadapa on the 4th of July. Okay? Yeah. I want to use for the purposes of this argument, their last amendment they did to their charge sheet, which is on the 20th of July. How many days between 4th of July and 20th of July? 16. 16 days. So, they had Abena Dapa, according to the AG's document, writing in their own handwriting on uh, the police document that 800,000 cities is what was in the box. And that one, it didn't belong to me. It belonged to my dead brother. And there's 200,000 that I, I didn't, she didn't state who belonged to. And yet, 16 days later, after two earlier amendments, the police still... Having this letter past document in which she apparently had written that the amount did not belong to her, the police still went to court with a third amendment and said the amount is not 800000 at all. It is $1 million, and they belong to this letter past. Meanwhile, the AG's facts tell us that Abelana Pa has said to them in a statement, not where they value, it is written, it is written, mm -hmm. that the money belonged to my dead brother, and it was in the box. 
You do get at, 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 at this point in time, I would want to see Cecilia Abnanda first handwritten statement. Ah, exactly. I'd want to see it because it, it beats my mind. I do not understand how in God's name, if Cecilia Abnanda presented, wrote that statement, the police changed it. Was she not in court when the police presented the first charge, charges? Or when, I mean, the charges were being read to the person, for instance, did she not, I mean, did the police Based not on her complaint, complaint? Did the police not inform her that they've written that this belongs to These are the charges the police would inform you. If the Second Amendment, they had changed that, mm -hmm. I was, that, that would make a bit of sense because then do, I, I would have assumed that I, they presented the first charge sheet to her and said, this is what we are going yes, to so oh, no, 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 no. I said the thing is $800,000. So I mean, that, 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 that's what means the first point. That raises a bit of doubt here. Look, at this point in time, since the AG is presenting facts of the case to us, it will be important to also attach, attach, yeah, yeah, of course, her statement to the police. And this is gone, anything can happen. But I would want to see a handwritten statement and the this that stamp on it. But that's what that one there, you know. <laughs> I know, they, they can't <laughs> <haven't changed. laughs> write it to But you see, <laughs> and this is. If, and, and this is the point, if it took them nine months to complain, nine months, look, um, at this point in time. A another thing that something said yesterday mm -hmm. that he says is bizarre. If you follow this narrative from the AG's advice, it means that the statement by the complainant was written after the investigations had been completed. Think about it. Think about it for a second. Yes. Think about it for a second. I agree. So, you 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 can't start a, a, a police investigation without a, without a complainant statement. Mm -hmm. Have you met the police before? Has this not something of yours been stolen before? I don't know. No, no, no. Ah, okay. Thieves, not thieves. Robbers broke into my burglary, burglary, burglary. They broke into my house. They stole stuff. They ransacked my my room. That that, that one was a ransacking part. And I went to the police, you know, the police came, they looked at the place, and they, you know, identified police station. The first thing I had to do was to write a statement. That same day, to write a statement, what has been stolen, what happened, where was I wrote all the things down. They went, they took pictures. And they, they, they. That signal, the commencement of the official investigations, because mm -hmm. what are they going to investigate? Right? So it was based on my complaint. I wrote it down before the police. But this particular Chronology of events, right? Actually says that the thing was written on the 4th of July. The first amendment is very close to that. In fact, the, the and whole the people nine and the first and third accused were arrested on the 27th of June. Yes. So this is what I see happening. They arrested them then before they wrote the statement. Wrote How statement. is that possible? So this is the point. So maybe, maybe, and this is uh, open to a lot of re inference. So when Cecilia Abnadapa comes there, I mean, when her policeman, I wonder why her, why her policeman was in a crime. She was in Kumasi. Mm, maybe Evans. they had two. Maybe they have one for the house. And one, one for, for her. Ah, okay, so let's say one for the house. Ordinarily, the policeman. I mean, uh, yes. If it's your official resident, there's a policeman there. Then there's a policeman who also goes around with you. So if there's official residence, no problem. Now. Maybe that policeman arrested them. But if the policeman arrested that young lady, where did they take the young lady? Was she granted bail? At least there would be evidence. If not, the person, where did they, if not the person of police, where did they take them? Because where, there's no where, record. Yeah, there's no record. Although they claim, the husband claimed. Oh, it went to the Tessanoff police station. There's no record. So I would, I, I would assume that he didn't go to Tessanoff police station. But I'm saying that if you arrested a young, if you caught somebody in the act and you picked her up, why didn't, I mean, what happened that the person escaped? And went to Tamale. Went to Tamale. What happened? I need to understand. Currently, that is not clear. But that's not even the issue. So why then, they issued an arrest warrant based on what also? Yeah. Then, when the people was, were arrested, you now come and write your statement. After the arrest. Okay? Yeah, but that, that, that's, that's, that's very bizarre. That's, that's, that's yes. Yeah. So, 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 so this is the whole point. This whole story just doesn't add up. And another question I have mm -hmm. is, Daniel Osekufo, who's the husband, who first saw the alleged crime, first, mm -hmm. 
He didn't only see it. He also lost item. Yeah. There's no record that he, he also filed a police statement. Mm -hmm. Think about it for a second. Mm -hmm. You, the husband, you chanced on a crime in your room. You are the first eyewitness. Yeah. First eyewitness to this alleged crime. You wait for your wife to come. It's only your wife and your wife's brother who filed a police report. Mm -hmm. Okay, you may want to, if you want to say, rationalize and, you know, explain it. You may say, okay, maybe the things that were stolen were there. So that's why they... No, 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 but you say, now if the brother had to come and write statement on the source of the $800,000, and you claim that $300,000, now first of all, you even saw it, and, and, and this is the point, Evans, but I mean, anybody can write a statement, but you were the one who witnessed it. You were the first yes, person yes. to see this yes, witness. And you deemed it unnecessary to write a statement. I mean, but let's even put that as. I mean, first of all, the police themselves were investigating. Yeah. They didn't see the need to get the first eyewitness, the man who saw, allegedly saw the, 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 the crime being committed. He saw the act. The woman was in the room. They didn't see the need to get that man to write the statement first? Evans, something doesn't add up. So, so, so here's the thing. So this Daniel Lesekou for all this account, where is it recorded? Which account? Ah, the account that we just read on the 6th of October, Daniel Lesekou for who had left his house and da 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 Oh, you're so, reading a but complaint? no, but the thing is written in the first person. See, as he walked towards the room, he noticed that he did not find. He say that when with the assistant, da, 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 uh, he later realized that five different men's suits, da, 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 and five pieces of clothing had been stolen. He called up. You are saying that Sisadapa wrote this? Huh? Uh, yes, Sisadapa wrote the statement. Okay, okay, okay. No, but, but, I mean, but, but that's no, true. You see, no, but you see, you see, look, let's say that policeman saw her, I mean, the husband saw her steal it. The husband picks her up. Okay, the police can actually start an investigation. Okay, I mean, you know, people can start investigation, somebody can start investigation without a complainant. Yeah. Okay, the OSP doesn't need a complainant. But in this case, you are complaining that somebody is stolen from you. So, if you go and complain, what happens then? If you go and complain, the police will take a statement from you and then commence investigation. In this case, the Attorney General says there is no evidence of a report mm at the Tessano police station. Mm, mm, mm. There, there, there is a lot that must be explained. So here's the thing. The AG uh, has some directives mm -hmm. for the police on the back of everything else we've, we've said. I mean, the AG, I'm sure the AG himself was scratching his head whilst, you know, was, was doing the thing and looking into the thing. He was scratching his head because as for this. So the directive, uh, he said, Sister Dapa, Further investigations. Sadapa stated in her initial complaint, initial complaint, and yesterday, when this struck me, the initial, I was asking myself, initial complaint. Okay, okay, okay. This is interesting, actually. Cecilia Dapa stated in her initial complaint to the police on 1st July. Again, nine months. Yes, 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 yes. But the interesting thing is that she did, at least that's a, on record, two Statements, two complaints, two complaints. Yeah. There's a first of July complaint, and there's a fourth of July complaint, mm -hmm. right? In one case, the distinguishing element there, though, one is a complaint, one is a statement. So I don't know whether whether they are the same or they're different. Is it one verbal and one written? Uh, do you get a distinction? Yeah, I get it. Get it, get it. I mean, I don't know what it is, but here it says. Sister Dapa stated in her initial complaint to the police on the 1st of July, mm -hmm. 2023, that $800,000 belonging to her deceased brother and 300000 
of contribution towards her mother's funeral contained in a box and the bag respectively were stolen. Mm -hmm. This is even makes it even, even more weird. Yeah. So that on 1st of July, she told the police, first of all, so in, in, on two occasions, Winston, you're not appreciating how, this, how bizarre this is. Yeah, on I get it. On two occasions, within a space of one week, Cecilia Dapa is on record, according to the Attorney General, right? The, the facts are according, according to the Attorney General, telling the police that the $800,000 belonged to a deceased brother and 300,000 cities, contributions for her mother's funeral, contained in a box and a handbag, were stolen. Mm -hmm. And yet, after hearing this twice, in one case, statement written, the police still went ahead. Drafted the charge sheet, charge sheet number one, and still insisting the money belonged to her and it's one million dollars. Charge sheet number two, the money belonged to her and it's one million dollars. Charge sheet number three, 16 days later, still the money belonged to her and it's one million dollars. Something doesn't come up. Charlie, you yeah, Pong. Um, oh, is, is our time up already? Yes. I mean, oh, it's just time, time is up. Oh. Look, you want to read some of the messages? Um, a lot of them, a lot of them. Um, uh, well, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me get back here and see uh, the messages that I can read. Um, let me see them, let me see them, let me see them. If I could just get into those messages shortly so that all of us can, um, you know, uh, just get to understand what's uh, trending on Facebook once we're having uh, this conversation. I think uh, I've lost them. Let me just get it back. Okay. I'm getting, uh, you know, the feedback so I could just get a, a lot of messages and they keep, you know, updating. Uh, I see a lot of banter in there between persons who disagree on whether or not, uh, you know, what we are saying is right or not. Anyway, let me get into it. Are, are you there now? Yeah, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to. Just okay. so, 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 you, yo, okay, 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 okay. So, let's see if this comes up. Okay, so here is Kwejo. Why is the AG in a hurry to clear Madame Cecilia Abana Dapa, this clearly an attempt to clear her of any wrongdoing, but Ghanaians know better. Do you smell there's an attempt to clear her? I mean, I. Um, it, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's hard to believe. The contradiction is hard to believe. I, I don't know. I mean, Abena Pukwaka, Ghana is bleeding, he says, right? Mm -hmm. This is hard to believe. This is what I say. Um, the AG. Needs, the AG and the police, there's a lot to reconcile. There's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of explaining that must happen. O on the face of the, of the, and I think the AG's document makes it even more bizarre, and there's a lot of explanation that must come on it's such a serious matter, right? Um, I mean, I don't know if you see any more comments. Um, well, I, I mean, I saw that, but I moved away now that it's uh, three o'clock, so. You know, and uh, then, and then, and then, let me just wrap up. So on the back of that, initial complaint corroborated by brother on the 4th and repeated on the 4th in the statement, uh, the AG is asking and directing the police establish true ownership of the amount mm -hmm. of 800,000 who owns it. Is it for the dead mother? Right? So tell us. So I get the sense that AG himself is not sure. Is doubting, of course. Is doubting whether indeed what Sis Ledapa and the brother had written down is indeed the case. So go and establish it. Sources from which the established owner of the amount acquired the money. You know what they say? Dead men don't talk. Have a good afternoon.